Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today's video is gonna be featuring this Summer's Brazilian Straight Bob in 10 inches that I am feeling oh so much. <laughs> Okay, so here's the unboxing of the wig and included in the box came this care card, a pair of lashes, and of course the hair. So the wig does come with this lace parting area. I would say it's about 13 by four and it also comes with a middle part already. So I did go ahead and wash and blow dry this unit as well as flat iron it. I did all of that off camera. This unit comes with two combs on the side, one in the middle, one in the back with the adjustable straps. So the wig does come down ear to ear on my head um, with quite a bit of room left. In it so I would say that it probably is big head friendly I went ahead and removed the lace off camera before I began gluing it down I also added some foundation powder to the inside lace because I did not bleach the knots So I'm adding some mousse to get the hair and my parting area molded in place.
All right, so for my final review on this wig, I actually like the hair. I think my biggest problem is the low density. Uh, yeah, I feel like the density might be at a, like 130%. It's really, really light density. It's not a full wig at all. However, some people might actually like that in the summertime because in the summertime, you don't really like a whole lot of hair on your head. You want to have it a little more breathable so this may actually work for the summer. For the fall, no, nah, your hair going to be cold because <laughs> the density is so low. I actually like this. I did not bleach the knots. I just put some powder in the lace area and I put um, a little foundation powder in the parting space. I did pluck it a little bit more. Um, I don't think it came pre-plucked, so I did some of my own plucking um, just to try to customize it a little bit. Uh, the hairline did not come as natural as it could have. And look, like, I'm about to do another wig review, so I didn't want to glue this thing, like, all the way down. But I tried to glue it, glue it down as much as possible. Um, but it's a pretty decent hairline after I did some plucking. Yeah. Ow. So I'm here for the bobs in the summertime because uh, I don't really like to be all super duper hot. But, you know, I kind of like my summertime bobs. Like, you know, when you out in the heat, you don't really want a whole lot of hair down your back, down your neck. You go for the little cutesy bob. And by the way... This bob only retails at $77.54. Extremely affordable from summer hair. Extremely affordable for a human hair bob. And it's only 10 inches. I am 5'7", so I don't know. I was thinking it would be, I was thinking 10 inches would be a little shorter, but I mean, I'm liking where it is, so. Um, this, you know, bobs always give me my back in the day vibes of when I was relaxed, you know, I'm not relaxed anymore, but like my style was a bob. Like I rocked a bob, a bob religiously. So anytime I can get a cutesy little bob wig, it just reminds me of how I used to rock my hair back in the day. And I absolutely love it. So, um, as far as the cap, so... It definitely came down ear to ear for me. Um, and I have a 21 and a half size head. So that's a little bit on the small to medium. Not necessarily big head. Um, I think though, I felt like it was still a little loose. So I feel like big head friends, <laughs> big head friends could get away with this wig. Because it was a little roomy in here, like, it was quite a bit of room, like, even combing it, and that could just be from the density, like, I just feel so much cap. I really think that's the density, though. This density is so low, like, you can really feel through this joke, I'm gonna tell you that now. That's probably the biggest con for me for this wig is the low density. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you see that this is a very easy, beginner-friendly type of wig. Like I said, you don't have to bleach the knots. Although I could have and I didn't, I mean, but like once I put some powder in the parting space, like it's not even really that necessary. Um, like I said, I did pre-pluck. You could do that or not. Although I think it's highly recommended. So that's probably the only work you would have to actually put into this hair is actually pre-plucking it. I wouldn't bleach it. The hair is a little questionable. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like it's like super high quality. That's just my opinion. Um, maybe they have some other quality hair, but I just don't feel like this is super... And maybe it's this density that's throwing me off. I really feel like the density is really messing me up. Um, because it's just not full. Not full at all. But those are my thoughts on this wig. Feel free to check it out by using the links, the links that I provide in the description box below. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are not, okay? And I will catch you in the next video.
Thanks so much for watching. Bye, y'all.